In this video, we'll be finding the equation of a line equidistant from two points. Our problem is to find the equation of the line that is equidistant from the points 0, negative 4, and 5, 2, and write the equation in slope-intercept form. Now we'll first uh, let xy be a point on the line. And because we're told that this point on our line is equidistant from the point 0, negative 4, and the point 5, 2, I'll need the distance formula. Distance formula says that the distance from some point x1, y1 to the point x2, y2 is given by d equals square root of the quantity x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. So what we're going to be doing then is we're going to say that the distance from xy to the point 0, negative 4 that distance is equal to the distance from the point xy to the point 5, 2. So now we just need to put these uh, values into our distance formula. Um, I'm going to, I like my variable written first, so I'm going to go with x subtract 0 quantity squared plus y subtract negative 4 quantity squared. And that distance is equal to this distance, x subtract 5 quantity squared and y subtract 2 quantity squared. Now this is the equation of our line. We just need to simplify it a little bit and put it in slope-intercept form. Our first thing to do would be to remove these radicals. Uh, please do not get creative and think that this radical removes these squares. It does not because these squares are added together here. This is a sum and there's no rule in mathematics that says that that square root removes those. So what we need to do, the only way to remove those radicals is to square both sides. So we'll do that first. This square will remove this radical and I'll have x minus 0 squared which is just x squared. And then y plus 4 quantity squared. And on the right side, the square removes this radical, and I have x minus 5 quantity squared and y minus 2 quantity squared. All right, our next step in simplifying is to square these binomials. And this one's uh, copied. And then y plus 4 quantity squared is the same as y squared plus 8y plus 16. And on the right side, when we square this binomial, we get x squared minus 10x plus 25. And then y squared minus 4y plus 4. And we see that we have an x squared on both sides, so let's subtract x squared from both sides. And those will cancel and subtract y squared from both sides and those will cancel. 
So now let's write what's left. On the left side we have 8y plus 16. And on the right side I have a negative 10x and a negative 4y. And I can combine these two constants. That's 29. Right. We need to uh, put the y's on the left side. So let's add 4y to both sides. So cancel. And I have 12y plus 16 is equal to negative 10x plus 29. Subtract 16 from both sides, and I have 12y is equal to a negative 10x plus 13. Last step would be to divide both sides by 12, so we'll divide all of the terms by 12. This will cancel, and I have y is equal to a negative 5 sixths x plus 13 twelfths.